So I've just recorded a video, link there and in the description below about uh, people I interviewed at that Norwich Awakening that were too close to the truth to put on YouTube, if you know what I mean. So, uh, yeah, watch them in the link after you've seen this video. Simon of the Blake family, as he's commonly known, is a big favourite with my viewers. He was a bit late to the meeting, so he was chasing a mouse around his ca <laughs> in his yeah. caravan. Is that right? That was yes. Yeah, that's no problem. Yeah. yeah. Did you capture the mouse or expel the mouse? You yes, captured I it. I did. Yeah. He made quite a mess in my drawer, though. So oh, <laughs> no. Get everything out and just like. Yeah. They, yeah, they go. They tend to go for the muesli, don't they? Yeah. They like muesli, and they also like peanut butter. Yeah. Oh. Um, the thing is, when the mouse swims through the muesli, it leaves little black droppings in that look yeah. indistinguishable from some of the yeah, uh, kind of some all. of the sunflower <laughs> seeds that are in there. They even chewed the plastic off one of my uh, pair of tongs as well, would you believe? Oh, no. Yeah, so they've had to go, and even some stock cubes. Yeah, they nibbled into some stock cubes as well. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah. Hey, but did you actually, see, the joy you actually, living in you actually see the bugger in there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I caught him in the trap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, you guys, if you don't know Simon the Blake family, just watch yeah. this video here about when I helped him move into his caravan. That was a, a good episode. Yes, we shall have to make another one of those, Commander. The sequel. Well, I, I'm in town for four more days, so yeah. So Simon, uh, as, uh, as this episode is about the, uh, the nascent Great Awakening, how do you feel this Great Awakening is going? Well, it depends which angle you look at it from, I guess. You know, I was just saying to some people here, you know, these groups are important for morale boosting and things like that, you know, for people to know that they're not alone, as uh, Vernon Coleman says, you know, I think that's quite important because some people are very isolated. Um, yeah, their friends and family don't always get it. And, uh, yeah, I think it's important to have this kind of social network um, in place. Yeah, so... Yeah. But yeah, some interesting stuff happening. I saw the video yesterday of Sainsbury's introducing um, the barrier system of the QR codes, which I think is quite disturbing. Yep, the, um, the, the uninjected won't be shopping in Sainsbury's anymore, so we must all boycott that. Boycott Sainsbury's. Yeah, but uh, I'm sure the others will all follow suit yeah. soon enough. But yeah, we have to be outspoken about that. Um, at the point where it happens, you know, mm. so I think we have to make a bit of a fuss and complain to the management and say that it's not acceptable to, uh, you know. I think, ironically, our saving grace will be the uh, the failed Kalergi plan. These these um, external armies of occupation they brought in to destroy us are actually going to be our saviours because they won't have the LGBT nonsense going on in schools and they will not refuse us to buy fruit in their shops. Mm. You know, if we want to buy fruit and halal meat, I don't think they're going to stop us So uh, for cash. Yeah. Yeah, so, so yeah. yeah. So, uh, so it looks like the Kalergi plan's backfired, and this could be our last, uh, last uh, you know, way of buying food. So watch out for that. Yeah, absolutely. Be prepared, people. Um, yeah, yeah, have lots of tins, lots of fish, lots of pasta, and your favourite sauces to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well said, sir. And some stock cubes, not nibbled by mice. Yeah. <laughs> got me an hour ago, I'd, I'd have had plenty of steam. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely the wrong time. I'm on right. camera. It's all right. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is us. It's a big... Mm, it's... Honestly, this is the wrong time for me. I've run out of steam. I understand, so. Time for I didn't a lie know down. you were going to film me. Cup of cocoa. <laughs> <laughs> Slippers and pipe. <laughs> uh, I don't know one. All right. Well, this is all a big lie. I mean, I don't know what to say. It's, it's, all, it's become sort of exhausting. Mm. And um, we're just so all fed up with it, and enough is enough, and all that. Mm. But when is enough? When we're going to stop these, these lunatics? Me, I can't believe that's me. I don't even like the look of me. Um, <laughs> you got me on a short leg. Oh, I just don't like being on camera. Yeah, but, I, I, I've got one of these filters that makes you look like a fat old man. It does it to me as well. <laughs> is it me as well? No, I always look like Oh, that. no, no, Simon looks, uh, yeah, yeah, distinguished and handsome, surprisingly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, God, I need firing up. Because there's so much to think of. Mm, there is, that is, that's the thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's you... fast nail it in like a few centimeters it's, it's just so vast yeah it? yeah, yeah. Uh, it affects uh, us in so many ways yeah 
and um, I can't believe how people are just so misled and they believe what this government is telling them and it is just a government of dictatorship that's all they are uh, I mean they shouldn't be in there they should be kicked out of there and prosecuted for what they're doing and um, mm. they know what they're doing because now I've listened to people who've been to meet them in private interviews yeah. uh, one of them was uh, John Looney and he says from the interview and what he's discovered is that they all know those politicians they know exactly what's going on yep. and um, they're not doing anything because they don't care and not only don't care they're in on it and it's, this is a this is a genocide well okay I'm, oh, I'm, I'm going to oh. swap out two or three keywords there but oh. that was brilliant thank yeah. you <laughs> yeah. oh see I told you I needed what we yeah. told me before no, you can say the word coal Cole, oh, we've God. all been so busy spouting out truth to each other. You know, the relief of being in a park full of like-minded people who know what time it is, right? Yeah, this wonderful chap here is the clearest thinker and talker. Oh, I've I don't know about that. Time. I'm having a midlife crisis, and the one thing I wanted to say to people is that there are ways out of this, you know? We can understand laws and legislation, understand the Magna Carta, understand common law, and see where we're going wrong. At the moment, we're going wrong because we're trying to play football on a rugby pitch. We're trying to take common law and assertive in admiral court systems. So we need to be creative. But before we're creative, we also need to be destructive. So how do we destroy something and build on top of it? We come together. Build back better. Build back better. And we just understand what we should have been taught at school. We're going back to school. And that's what humanity needs to understand is that to fix what we are going through we all need to treat every day as a school day yeah. and stop pretending that this is just a once a month thing where you can cough off to London with loads of leaflets pretending that you're waking people up because that's delusional in itself and Austria are locking down the mated and the unsonated um, and the world's so going crazy Australia. so are Australia and there's now four countries in Europe that have mandated the jab by February the 1st and it's weird because when I first heard of these countries I thought wow I've not even heard of Turkmenistan but this is what they do they take little steps in very small underdeveloped places mm. and then it starts to spread because once they've got their toe in the door an experiment, a controlled experiment so some places get it some places don't whatever move they're pulling next They'll, they'll try it. If it works, they'll expand it. And the real news is in person, you know. So if you're looking at the world to understand what's happening and you're watching the BBC, you're watching the ITV, you're only getting a very small perspective of what they want you to think, you know. Mm. Sometimes the magic is in actually understanding who created the PCR test. Oh, a guy called Carrie Mullis. Go and look at what he said. Who created the mRNA technology? Dr. Robert Malone. Go and look at what he said. Who is Mike Yeadon? Did he work for mm. Pfizer? Who are Pfizer? How much money have they paid? Why did they pay 23 billion pounds in falsified statistics um, and bodged clinical trials like all these things are there to see and these should be the emotional things and the motivation behind learning common law and changing everything because if we don't take responsibility as us as brothers real then people we are not we are not going to get anywhere giving responsibility to all these shills that are just running movements that are teaching us everything i mean i heard about this protest today through a telegram group and a guy called Nigel Artin was giving a speech he turned up an hour and a half late last time he turned up we spent the whole time talking about his sex life and his Google rating and actually even though it's nice to meet up in a park we need to be real and critical of each other in a loving and empathetic way and push us into applying knowledge because knowledge is only power when you can apply it and that's my rant done <laughs>